Oh, here's Huddy behind the net. He's checked there by Robitaille, and we have an icing call against the Kings. Now, now Tegan and Taylor, again. yeah, they bumped again right at the whistle, and now Playfair and McSorley are going to go. Playfair and McSorley, and spinning each other around right in the slot. Playfair trying to get McSorley's helmet off and uh, pulling his jersey up. Now, <laughs> McSorley's hitting him with the empty arm sleeve yeah. of his jersey. It's like he's hitting him with a purse, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now they're trying to still wrestle each other. Now McSorley has his uh, jersey ripped off, but he gets an arm free, and he throws about four or five lights at Playfair. Now Playfair still can't get McSorley's right arm Body punches. <laughs> And the fans roaring as McSorley throwing body punches, then to the head. He's going to hurt his hand in the back of Larry's helmet. Yeah, Larry's still got his helmet on, and now they're going to break him up. I'll say this, Bob Hall is not doing a real good job at getting everybody away from the original altercations apart from everything, because everybody's milling around, and that's when things can really get nasty. He's not doing a good job at directing traffic. So they both go off the ice. Three minutes to go in the game, and behind the play, we've got another fight breaking out. Joe Patterson and McSorley. McSorley getting some right hands in. Patterson trying to tie him up. Three minutes to go in the third period. Now a left by Patterson. And neither one of them able to get their arms free yet. This is down to the king zone to the left of Janicek. Earlier in the game, McSorley, an altercation with Playfair, and Patterson had one with Bukaboom. So, so the heavyweights are taking on each other tonight. Now a couple of left by uh, Patterson and some rights by McSorley. And McSorley misses with two rights. Well, they had each other pretty well tied up, and the linesman didn't move in, and now they've got their arms free, and they're just rolling punches down in the corner. McSorley, I don't know if he's hitting Patterson or hitting the glass down there. Now they've broken them up. Marty McSorley in his third year with the Edmonton Oilers. He came over from the Pittsburgh Penguins and like Craig Simpson from the bottom of the league to the top of the league. He's got a Stanley Cup ring to his credit. 6'1", 195, 24 years of age. Marty